the early record of Warren and early, early Warren settlers are buried there. For some reason, children have been um, influenced by spooky stories of cemeteries. <laughs> Back in the 1600s, tombstones sometimes were carved with ghoulish emblems that looked scary. But that stopped, and as of around the 1800s, uh, you don't see that anymore. So now the scary stories are, <laughs> are kind of disappearing, and, and they're more peaceful, um, pleasant stories. One of Warren's historical landmarks is the Warren Union Cemetery. The cemetery is located on Chicago Road between Ryan and Mound. The cemetery is over 100 years old. It was one of the first cemeteries in the city of Warren. Dorothy Peck Cummings is a living piece of history. The cemetery is currently currently listed by the state as abandoned. Half is owned by St. Paul's Church. The other half has been adopted by the Warren Historical Society. The, we know the original ownership was Peter Gillett, but we asked them to tell us who owns the cemetery. And the report came back that the east portion is owned by St. Paul's Church, which is there on Mound Road. But the west portion, there is no record of ownership. The Historical Society just adopted it. You know. In this cemetery, many prominent people are buried. This burial ground was meant for the families of the church that owned it and for the important people to the village of Warren. They were a lot of township officials and the founder, one of the founders of the congregational denomination, his name was e um, Ebenezer McDowell, and he's buried there. We have one Civil War soldier. Many families were buried together in the cemetery. Dorothy Cummings is still here to tell about it. My uh, uh, grandfather on my dad's side, that's Edward H. Peck, bought this property, this farm, in 1879, and our farm went uh, both sides of the Chicago Road and went up to the east fence of the cemetery. And then on my mother's side, she was a Wilson, and the Wilsons, um, that gentleman's picture over there and with the beard, that's my great-grandfather, Wilson. He's buried there. Inside the fence of the cemetery, there is a very old tree. It is believed to be an Indian trail marker tree. There's a nice big old Norway spruce. We estimated that it's about 200 years old. And the shape of this tree matches the shape of a type of tree that's called a trail marker tree. A trail marker tree was something that they've decided the Indians used to mark trails. When the tree is small, a sapling, you know, it can be bent and held down. And so this tree really, to me, looks like a trail marker tree. Inside the cemetery, there is also a time capsule buried. It is to be opened in the year 2045. When the village of Warren celebrated its centennial in 1993, um, I got the idea from somebody about a time capsule. I'd heard of them, but I'd never had any, had any connection with them. We got menus and newspapers and um, just all kinds of items from churches and businesses. So they came prepared, and each student had a little three by five card with their photograph, one of those stamp size photographs. You've seen them, they're about this big, posted up on, or stuck onto the card. And on the card, they also wrote what they thought they would be, be doing or what they were gonna become 50 years from now. But the most important thing is, it's the record of the early, early settlers. The Warren Union Cemetery is a beautiful piece of history that is still standing in Warren. Although there is no more room for burial ground, it is a very interesting place to walk through. For many people, like Dorothy, the cemetery is very important to them.